All right, here we are. Take a look at this one. Now, what I'd probably recommend doing is, wow, that's gonna be in interesting. Almost in between clubs here. You'll really want that, that max club. Gar uh, Goliath could be a decent one here. A little worried about that because I don't have that. So with the uh, backbone, I may have to just kind of change, change the way that I do this a little bit. We'll have to just see. What you'll want is that second bounce to not hit that fairway. So you can see that's what my opponents did. You want it to get in that fringe. So that's what you're typically trying to, to make happen. So let's see here. You'll see that I'll be just a little bit tougher now. Just gonna go with this. I'm gonna try to do it like this. I think that might be too much backspin. I'm thinking maybe half a bar. Just need to land it right up in here a little bit. Which is about one ring. I'm going to assume that I've kind of gone a ring more so than anything. So first I'll, I'll go the required. I'm going to go seven rings. Just about. It's, it's an overplay. And then I'm going to just push up one. Just to get that extra little bit of distance that I think I need. Since I don't have the Goliath. But here's what I want. I want it to hit the fringe, which it did. And it looks like I'm just a little too wide. It was a little bit too many rings. Um, another thing I can do is I can tighten up my pull angle a little bit, but you can see the speed's about perfect. You do want to make sure that that second hop is on the fringe, though. So it might be easier with Goliath, so you don't have to do that uh, weird thing that I did, which was like push up a ring. Uh, the reason that I did that is because I was essentially treating it like I wanted it to land in power. So, um, you know, I was just trying to estimate it. Uh, you can see it makes it just a little bit tough to get your aimer down when you have it angled like that. And, um, you know, you can't get it up to that max club number. So Goliath, you can just copy my spin more or less. Don't use more than half a bar and just try to get it, uh, you know, to, to pop on that fringe there. So good luck and I'll see you guys on the next one.